Hi everyone, this is Germinal Van. Today we're going to continue on the multiple linear regression, but we're going to focus today on the slopes and the intercepts, how to basically determine their values. Last week, I introduced to you the basic element of the multiple linear regression. I first and foremost say that there's a difference between a multiple linear regression and a multivariate linear regression, and that the multivariate linear regression has more than one dependent variable. So it has many dependent variables that depends on many independent variables, while the multiple linear regression is just one dependent variable that depends on many regressors. So I wrote for you guys the general equation for the multiple linear regression, which is x equals uh, beta zero plus beta one times x one plus beta two times x two plus beta n times xn plus the standard error, beta n times xn is simply uh, the amount of regressors added to the initial two primary uh, regressors. But we are concerned with how to calculate the slope and the intercept in a multiple linear regression that has only two independent variables. So we're concerned with this equation here. So which is y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1 plus beta 2 times x2 plus the standard error. So I wrote here how to calculate the intercept, which is beta 0 equals the mean of the, of the dependent variables minus the value of beta 1 times the mean times the mean of x1 minus the value of beta 2 times the mean of x2. But you cannot cal you can calculate none of that unless you've determined the values of beta 1 and beta 2. Maybe yes, you can already know the mean of y, you can know the mean of x1 and x2. Know that the mean of x1 and x2 has nothing to do with uh, the, they have nothing to do with the values that I showed you in the previous video where I set the, the standard data set for a multiple linear regression. It's just that here you just take the mean of the dependent variable and the mean of the independent variables as well. But you have to calculate beta 1 and beta 2 in order to multiply them with the mean of x1 and x2. So this is what we are going to do here. So how do we proceed by calculating the, um, the values of the first coefficient, which is beta one? We proceed simply by doing this. It is uh, the summation of x two squared times the summation of x one y minus the summation of x1 times x2 times the summation of x2 y over the summation of x1 squared times the summation of x2 squared minus the summation of x1 times x2 squared. Yep it looks uh, a little complicated or convoluted. I remember the first time I performed a uh, multiple linear regression with two variables, I was also confused by writing this. It's still kind of hard to remember all the variables to put down by head. You still need like a, uh, some sort of like a cheat sheet to have it and know where, which, which one goes where. So it's, uh, it looks convoluted, but it's not. And basically, how do you calculate beta two? You simply replace uh, some of the values. So as you see that for beta 1, you have the summation of x2 squared. So for beta 2, what are you going to have here? The summation of x1 squared times the summation of x2 times uh, y minus the summation of x1, x2 times the summation of x1 y over the the denominator the denominator stays the same so it is summation of x1 
square times summation of x2 squared minus the summation of x1 times x2 squared and here we go we have uh, the calculation that we need for the values of beta 1 and beta 2 and how do you calculate the uh, the standard error it is the same the standard error never change uh, which is standard deviation oh actually I'm not giving you the right order here so standard deviation over this this is of course for the standard error so you need to always calculate the standard deviation first and in order to be able to determine the standard error so once you able to determine the values of beta 1 and beta 2 you just plug them in this one and you have the values of the intercept and you can simply calculate your regression and make your prediction so this this is how basically you, you proceed uh, next week we are going to talk more about uh, the impact of econometrics in the real world because so far I've shown you the calculation and everything but you may see and be like what like how this is related to the real world so I'm going to I'm going to do a lot of research and show you like concrete examples how econometric models have been used to implement macroeconomic policies so so that you will see uh, the mirror between an econometric model and the impact that an econometric model has on the effect of a policy so ladies and gentlemen that was it it wasn't a long um, video today as i said it's just about how to calculate the slope and the intercept so if you want to visualize your regression usually it depends on the variables you have if they do not have the same unit or the same uh, values or measurement you have to create uh, a, a scatter plot for each independent variable and the dependent variable if you have i don't know like 10 independent uh, variables you may have to create 10 scatter plot but you can also use the quadratic method which is also simpler and for that you're gonna have to use excel or, or python or any other statistical software but this is just for two independent uh, variables this is the calculation by hand that you proceed and you're able to uh, that way uh, perform your calculation and determine the, the, va the values of each unit here so next week is going to be econometrics or should i say econometric models and the real world till then see you guys next week